Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 1030 AM to 11 o'clock AM session of the 2021 Open Simulator Community Conference. In this session, we are happy to introduce a presentation called the Barbara Truman Planetarium. Our host is Dr. Cynthia Kaloin, AKA Lear Lobo, and she is joined by Dr. Andrew Stricker, AKA Spinoso Cornell, and Francisca Yonakura, AKA Frankie Antonelli. Cynthia is a professor at Parker University in Dallas, Texas, and a VR researcher. She loves Open Simulator and is proud to be a member of the OSCC Organizing Committee. Andrew is an Education Innovation Analyst with Air University's LeMay Center for Doctrine, Development, and Education. Frankie comes from the Higher Education, where she specializes in, instruct in excuse me, instructional instructional systems and emerging technologies in support of learning. Please check out the website found at conference.opensimulator.org for speaker bios, details of sessions, and the full schedule of events. The session is live streamed and recorded, so if you have questions or comments during the session, you may send tweets to at 21. Welcome, everyone. Let's begin the session. Thanking myself, right? <laughs> anyway, I want to thank my um, co-speakers here. And of course, um, I'm going who you know was a member of Teen, and we want to talk about her impact on our lives in a positive way. Looks like I'm my my talk has skipped ahead a little bit, but uh, we're going to introduce some of the controls and themes later on in the tour. But first, I'm going to um, introduce my um, the approach that we're taking in this talk, which is essentially to celebrate a life well lived. Now, Spinoza Quinnell is our mastermind, and he designed 18 grids of content at Virtual Harmony. And we're gonna showcase just a few images from those that relate to Barbara's impact and, and work with us. I'm going to advance the speakeasy and turn the microphone right now over to um, Spinoza Quinnell, who's going to tell us about these slides. Spinoza, over to you. Okay, thank you so much. Um, as many of you can imagine, um, Barbara, uh, her, she was known as Delightful Dewangle, but she uh, was an inspiration uh, for us over the years. And uh, what we try to do with this planetarium was honor her her uh, work with us um, uh, in a way, all the imaginative creativity that she brought and her energy. Um, and we did a Parisian theme because um, Barbara was uh, very, uh, um, uh, excited about uh, the things that uh, and the time that she had spent over in Paris. And so over the years, you know, she inspired us to build a French village in virtual harmony. And she had her residence uh, in, in this little Loire um, Valley village. And so it just seemed the right timing for us to be able to to highlight a few of the things that uh, were near and dear to her. And after we're through today, uh, I, I believe it's right Senate at 530, there's gonna be a tour of the planetarium region. And and Sin and I would just love to uh, to show you some of the things uh, that uh, Barbara inspired us with. That's correct, Andy. In fact, the tour is gonna to hit the highlights and show you a little behind the scenes on how the controls work. And we also have some freebies hidden into the build. Well, on this next slide, you could you can go see... back there? Oh, sure. Yeah, the, 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 there's one slide that was skipped. I want to. Oh, yes. Um, uh, I, I did. I did want to share that um, we we organized our um, our memories around four uh, parts of her uh, inspirational um, characteristics, <laughs> and and the four areas that we that we'd like to at least uh, highlight in, in her honor and memory is um, first of all she uh, in, 
really enjoyed having fun. And for her, you could do wonderful, serious work with having fun. And so we always organized uh, regular dances uh, uh, that we would bring our family and friends together in virtual harmony. And, uh, and Barbara was very fond of uh, her work uh, over the years with the space program. And so we put a lot of effort into space oriented themes. And so, um, matter of fact, the last dance that she participated with us uh, was uh, dancing among the stars. And so we just wanted to emphasize that. And then the next point with the um, the pyramid of Luar uh, pyramid is leave no one behind. And we have a lot of images as no one um, should be left behind and everyone has an important contribution to make in this type of work in the metaverse. So that was very in, important to us. And, and is, of course, the next area that we want to share is no uh, stranger to any of you. Uh, she's always was scouting new frontiers and she was always bringing back to us, you know, uh, the art of the possible. And so her scouting is represented by the radio telescope and the uh, obelisk that was uh, in, located in Paris. And then, of course, you know, the JPL model, Dare Mighty Things, that is at the core of Barbara's spirit. Uh, there was nothing that, that um, she wouldn't try and, and aspire to. And matter of fact, uh, we often accomplished things that we thought were just not possible because she was there uh, keeping us encouraged and going forward. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Lear. Thank you there, Spinoza. And so now you're looking at images from our different builds with adventures with 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 uh, delightful. You see us in the lower left, and we're standing in front of the Enigma console. I don't know if Andy wants to talk about that, but um, that's part of our artificial intelligence system for giving for collecting data and getting feedback back to users. Andy? Yeah, just quickly, you know, uh, Barbara loved history and scientific history. And so we would bring in the story of Alan Turing and his work and during World War II uh, with the Enigma machine and breaking the code. And we, we always mixed up our simulations that we created with the, um, you know, what was contemporary with what was historical. And so many of our students over the years really cherish that kind of, uh, you know, narrative as it were. Uh, and going through our simulations. Thank you there, Spinoza. So, McMurdo Station was just one of those. Remember the Pilgrim's Project, Andy? And the, um, the, the fascination she had with the Shackelford expedition. Do you have anything to say about that? Uh, yes, the um, um, so much of the of relating back to the history and and the significance of helping us understand and appreciate uh, what we were doing in the metaverse was you know as many know the story uh, the Shackleton uh, expedition and the the means of rescuing all of the members of that expedition without one without any loss of life was truly inspirational. And so we we teach a lot of theories of leadership because Barbara helped us with our military simulations and trying to uh, show the relevance of the metaverse for improving people's understanding of how to work well in teams. So a lot of these images you see, see here have this aerospace uh, aeronautical theme and uh, because we you know we work with so many students across the military uh, services. Over to you, Lear. Thank you there, Spinoza. So moving on to the next slide, you'll see here a variety of images from the space program. And, and um, we had gone from a fantasy kind of build to a more realistic one using NASA data. And we had seven different stations or different areas of the game. And one of the rewards for, for going through it and participating is of course to discover hidden spaces. And you see one of them featured here below through the caverns below the planet. 
And at the end of the adventure, you know, there's this mysterious stargate and this object above it, that greenish looking thing. And Spinoza, do you have anything to add about that? <laughs> what is that mysterious thing? <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up because on our session on Sunday, we'll talk about 3D visualization. And that is actually a model that JPL uh, and NASA worked on to model uh, the universe. And uh, and so we, you know, as Lear's pointed out, Barbara and I, we, we all loved, and Frankie and, and uh, Lynn Skylark and Algernon Luar, uh, we all love mixing science fiction with science, you know, because science fiction inspires, the fiction inspires the science. And so, uh, and many of our students commented over the years that they, they thought it was really a, a hoot uh, to to see the blending of science fiction with the science. So Robert, you know, authors like Robert Heinlein and others are, is highlighted in our in our grids, and and then I, and then up upper right hand corner you see uh, delightful uh, in one of our uh, Grand Prix racers, and uh, so we uh, Barbara loved anything mechanical. So we were always building new things, anything that could move in world. Uh, we, we were creating and, and having a blast, uh, you know, creating all these devices, right, that, where you can actually get in and operate. <laughs> Thank you there, Spinoza. So I'm keeping up with the speakeasy here and, and showing some of the Grand Prix and the Oktoberfest that you saw in the lower right corner. Well, moving on to the next slide, we, we, we're, we're standing in either Pompeii or in Sacrojima. Why are we meeting in these spaces, Spinoza? Well, again, you know, the, uh, the mixture of the history and the exposure, uh, you know, was in inspirational with Barbara to, um, you know, we came upon this really interesting um, uh, way of addressing uh, uh, volcanoes, and so uh, we we loved uh, uh, creating these these really interesting places where you could see how people uh, you know thrive in in very uh, unusual environments. And so, uh, if you if you get a chance to visit Virtual Harmony, you'll you'll notice that um, a lot of the places that we have um, you know represent you know from around the world these really exotic places, both in history and, and in contemporary times. I'd like to put a little shout out to everyone who creates content in these worlds and shares it. You know, from the clothes we wear, to the dance devices, to the animations, to the worlds, to all your solutions, uh, to what Ferd was talking about with Dream Grid. I, I installed that and, and uh, demoed it to my students who just thought it was absolutely marvelous that we could have our own server software and, and do it so easily. And, and then also through the open simulator, through the ability to install it directly. We just have so many Barbara's life. She was celebrating yours and everything that you do. And so we want you to realize each of you matter, you know, in so many ways. Now I'm, I'm driving all these different devices at the same time, but I just want to thank ask you to in, in, invite you to celebrate with us among the stars. We love showing, Barbara loved the picture of the of the lady flying, uh, as it were, uh, through uh, a space. It represented, her, she said, the sense that she has when she's in the metaverse, uh, the exploration and the thrill of making new discoveries. And, 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 and we say this among ourselves since her passing, but we feel her spirit with us still today with us. Uh, we, we sort of sense that she's, she's there uh, scouting out ahead of us. And uh, so we, we, that's one of the reasons we just want to like to share this party picture of her. Uh, that's what we keep in our minds as we think. Now, for those of you who didn't know Barbara, she was community manager of the Moses Project before its retirement. She began as a user, just like the rest of us, and then, of course, joined the project with Lisa and Sun Tzu, and 
many of you. There were over 262 people on that project when we began. And I want to thank the organizers. They've given us this amazing opportunity to showcase this planetarium and to remember Barbara in such a unique way. We have a grid set up. So if you look at your world map, you'll notice that um, I'm going to go take a look just to make sure. If you pull back with your cursor, you will notice similar to the um, the expo regions one through six, right? It's to the right of it, right above the music stage. And remember tonight, we're going to go there at 530 and do a short tour. And of course, if it winds up being a little, you know, a little slow, you can certainly explore on your own. This is going to be up all year, you know, so, so there isn't a rush. And of course, we have all kinds of kiosks and freebies. We have spacesuits. We have flight jackets, you know, with with our patches on it. And and we have um, some of her favorite things for you to enjoy. And we also have a secret little apartment set up and it has a departure to a 360 degree virtual world kind of excursion so that you can do this blended reality or what a sidearm would call hybrid tech. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we included a 360 tour of the Eiffel Tower, so just for fun, and because uh, you know that was a big thrill uh, for Barbara was was going up the Eiffel Tower, and so um, so we wanted to make sure we represented that. And and I do want to say just at, at, as we wrap up here a little bit, I just want to share how much the Open Seminar community has obviously meant to Barbara and for us. All of you over the years have inspired us. And, uh, and the community uh, keeps us going. So um, uh, this year particularly has been very touching for me just to, to get connected, um, you know, with doing the, the planetarium with Laird, Frankie, and uh, Algernon, and Skylark, uh, our, our little group. Uh, it's, it's, it's like family for us, so thank you so much. Now, as we wrap up, uh, tomorrow, Andy and I are going to be talking about artificial intelligence and what we're going to be thinking about is how we apply it as a proof of concept in these game simulations as we sample behavior from users and their interaction with the world, how we learn from them, borrowing on how other systems have learned and made discoveries that um, were quite surprising using people from diverse backgrounds everyone's a participant in this kind of exploration. And so Andy is going to showcase some of his wonderful work. And I, I'm of course gonna collaborate. <laughs> I have the privilege of collaborating with Andy who he and I went to high school and college together many years ago. And in 2008, he invited me to join the team and I just never left. I, I've had such a marvelous time. We're now at 18 grids, not regions because we're showcasing all of this from a little farmhouse in, in, in um, you know, in the United States. And, uh, and then when we host events for the military education, he moves it all into the cloud, into the Amazon cloud. And all of these architectural possibilities are thanks to you and to everyone in our community who's really strengthened us and inspired us to keep up the work. You know, the pandemic was a bit of a, you know, a kick in the pants, wasn't it? And each of us has had to find ways to cope and strengthen and inspire those around us. Anyway, I just want to say thank you. And that's why I'm here and I'm excited and looking forward to the 10th year. Over to you, Andy, for closing oh. words. Well, again, uh, as, as Sen has shared, uh, you know, we, we've not known each other since fifth grade. <laughs> And Barbara's family uh, grew up near ours too, and so, so, uh, and coincidentally, you know, that's how life is, right? Life is very mysterious, but we all got connected, and we stay connected through our adult life and through uh, this wonderful journey. And uh, so, thank you so much again for the invitation and the opportunity to share and to, and to offer this tribute to Barbara. Okay, I'm sorry to break in. This is a wonderful tribute to Delightful to Barbara. Uh, thank you to our panelists for an informative and interesting presentation. As a reminder to our audience, you will want to check out conference.opensimulator.org to see what is coming up on the conference schedule. You won't want to miss our next session, which will begin at 11 o'clock a.m. 
in this keynote region and is entitled State of the Open Simulator Community. Also, we encourage you to visit the OSCC 21 Poster Expo in the OSCC Expo 3 region to find accompanying information on presentations and explore the hypergrid resources in OSCC Expo 2 region, along with sponsor and crowdfunder booths located throughout all of the OSCC Expo regions. Thank you again to our speakers and the audience.